Oh, hi. I'm Henry, and my science fair project is about electromagnetic trains. Let's jump in. This is what my project is going to be about. This project is extremely easy to make. All you need are the following materials. Copper coil or any other metal that's conductive, a AAA battery, and four neodymium magnets. So, first, you need to put the neodymium magnets on the battery, two on each side. To orient them correctly, you have to first check that they're repelling or pushing away, and then put them in that same orientation. So then, once you have that, take your wire, wire and then coil it up so it looks like a spiral, just like this. So, once you have all that finished, all you have to do is push it through, and that happens. So, as you can see, it goes pretty fast. Let me show you again. It's a lot more powerful than I expected. But, the stronger your magnets and the more coiled up your wire is, the more powerful it is. So, the way this train... Wait a second. Hey, over here. Okay. So the way that this train works is because of one of Michael Faraday's original principles on electromagnetism. It's called the right hand rule. Here's a visual to help you understand it. The right hand rule basically says that if there's a circuit with a wire in the shape of a spiral, then curl your fingers into the direction of the spiral and point your thumb upwards. The direction that your thumb is facing is the same direction that the magnetic field generated by the coil is facing. So one of Michael Faraday's sort of sub-principles of electromagnetism was that the more you coil up an electromagnet, the more powerful it is. So I decided to test it out by using a slope, just like this binder. So what I did was I took one of these coils and then I put it on a slant and tested if the battery could still go through. So in this one, it still can. It's jumping out. So I increased the slope by 5 degrees every time, so it started at 5, went to 10, 15, etc. Until I could no longer go further. So with the most, the densest one, this one, it could go up to a 75 degree angle because it has the most coils and it's the densest. This one, which is the second most dense one, could go up to 65 degree angles. And it makes sense because it's not as dense as this one, but denser than this. And then this one, which is the least dense of all, could go up to only 55 angle as degrees as an angle. I didn't find this very surprising either because, like I said earlier, this isn't very dense. So I also had to weigh the train in grams. And then I took that information and put it through this equation. This is a very simple equation. I used it to calculate the amount of force that the magnet train needed so that it could stay upright and not fall down or go up. So, it's very simple. There are only three variables. Mass, gravity, and angle. So, mass is however much, how basically, how much stuff is in your train. So, you could measure that using a spring scale or any other scale which measures in small weights. I weighed mine to be about 35 grams. So, I put that in for the mass. The gravity is always the same. It's 9.8 meters per second per second, or just 9.8. So, I put that in for gravity too. The SIN stands for sine, and it's a pretty complex operation, so you should probably grab a calculator for this one. Like I stated earlier, the symbol that looks like a zero with the dash in the middle is representative of the angle. So just plug whatever angle you got and put it into the calculator with the sine operation on it. And so, for example, the angle for the densest coil was 75. So I just plug that in there, and this is what I got. Hey! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, in conclusion, I tested out Michael Faraday's principle of the right hand rule, which I explained earlier. I also learned that there's a mathematical relationship between the number of coils, or 
per battery or the density and the strength at which the battery goes. These are my results. So with my experiment, I demonstrated one of Michael Faraday's laws of electromagnetism and I thought that this project was cool. I liked it. So thank you for watching and have a great day.